Hello, teacher. Hello, good, evening. good evening. How are you? Fine. Hello, I'm you. All right, all right. Ready. Ready for another class. Okay. Good, good night. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Wait, I see. Going out here. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yeah, the thing is that I cannot see everybody on the... Okay, now I got it here now. Now it's ready. Okay, perfect. Okay, now I can see. Okay, some, uh, some people are, are probably having trouble to connect today. Eh? They say there is a big storm. Yeah. Okay. Some people they write wrote in the chat. Uh huh. Chat and talk about the, they have a problem with the internet. And the yes. Energy. Okay. Good. Well, uh, but uh, where you are in this moment, it's not raining. No. Oh, okay. Here is not raining. Where do you live? Uh, near our or the stadium, uh, stadium Cuscatlan. Oh, Cuscatlan Stadium. Okay. Yeah. Yes, here in in Lourdes was raining this afternoon. Okay. But now it's a it's about to start. You know, it's kind of dark and and you can hear the thunders also, right? Mm -hmm. so I think it's gonna be raining in a couple of minutes, maybe. Okay. Good. All right, so then what do we have for today? We're going to talk about houses, right? And apartments. Yeah. Yes, okay, this is what we have. <coughs> okay, it says uh, evaluations with adjectives and nouns, right? So this is, for example, the how to, to use adjectives and vocabulary, nouns of places of, uh, of the house, maybe furniture, uh, to describe a house or an apartment. Okay, let's watch this video first and then if you have questions, you can ask me, and after I'm gonna show you another video. Okay. Can you hear the yeah. the video? No problem. Okay. Uh, the, video, the video, no. Okay, you don't hear the video. No. Okay. Okay. So let me check. We can share again. An apartment. Everyone, by the end of this class, you'll we'll be able to give your opinion Enough? about houses. Yes, okay. Additionally, yes, your own Perfect. house and apartment. For example, you'll be able to make the following statements Apartments are too small for pets, but houses are too expensive. 
houses cost too much money. Before I talk about the grammar involved in this particular class, what I would like to do now is I would like to play an audio program which illustrates how this topic is used. We will listen to a few people talk about their opinions on houses and apartments. Your task is to listen carefully and answer a couple of questions that I'll have for you at the end of the audio program. Apartments are too small for pets. Apartments aren't big enough for families. Apartments don't have enough parking spaces. Apartments have just as many expenses as houses. Apartments don't have as many rooms as houses. Houses aren't as safe as apartments. Houses aren't as convenient as apartments. Houses cost too much money. Houses don't have enough closet space. Houses don't have as much privacy as apartments. Let me present some structure now. The first thing that I would like to do is to show you how to make evaluations using adjectives. And particularly, we're going to learn how to use the words enough and to. After that, we're going to make evaluations, but this time we're going to use nouns. And at the same time, we're also going to use the words enough and also to. First of all, what are adjectives? Well, adjectives are those words that describe nouns. So they describe people, places, or things. Since we're talking about evaluating houses and apartments, what we want to do is we want to think about some of those adjectives that we might use to evaluate a house. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write a lot of those words here. And then what I would like for you to do is if you're not familiar with them. So for example, we have the adjectives comfortable, convenient, dangerous, dark, bright, expensive, huge, small, they're noisy, quiet, safe, small, spacious. And I'm pretty sure you can think of many more. So let me present some structure at this time on how to make sense of this evaluation that you see there towards the left. Apartments aren't big enough for families. So in order for us to make that particular evaluation, we can think of the following structure. So let me go ahead and write that now. Following this structure, we can see that we're going to have a subject. So in this case, we have apartments. This is followed by the verb to be. In this case, it happens to be in its negative form. Okay. And then, and then this is going to be followed by the adjective. So in this case, the adjective is big. Then this is going to be followed by enough. And then um, we're going to have some sort of complement here. So in this case, it happens to be families, right? So if we look at the pattern, we have a subject. I'm going to go ahead and follow the colors so that we can see what's happening That's in black. There we go. So we can see that the subject is apartments. Then this is followed by the verb to be. In this case, it happens to be the verb to be in its negative form. After that, we're going to have some sort of adjective. And then it's going to follow the word enough. And then we're going to include um, some sort of complement, if you will. So if we think about other evaluations that we can say about apartments, either apartments or homes, then we can say the following. I'm going to go ahead and copy this because the next evaluation is going to be quite similar. So we can say the following. Apartments aren't, and so I'm going to change the adjective here. So I'm going to say aren't spacious enough for families. Okay. And let's do one more. Uh, we can also say that apartments aren't, and I'm going to change the adjective now. I'm going to say apartments aren't comfortable enough for families. The next thing that I would like to do is to make sense of that second evaluation that you see there at the bottom. Now using the word to. And so what I want you to notice is the following, that we're just going to have different ways of evaluating 
things. And so there isn't just one way to do it, there are many different ways. So in this case, we're going to use this expression. And I want you to notice what's going to change. So I want you to think about what is the opposite of big? Well, the opposite of big, we can, we can think of that as being small, right? So in this case, I want you to notice what, what's going to change. So in this case, I'm going to say apartments are. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to include two small. So the only thing that changes is that I'm no longer using the bird to be in its negative form, but now I'm using it in its positive form. And then I'm including two plus the adjective small. And I'm saying for families. So what I want you to notice is that these two sentences, these two evaluations are the same thing. The only thing is that I'm expressing them in different ways. The next thing that I would like to do now is to show you how to make evaluations. But now we're going to talk about making evaluations using nouns. And a couple of things will change. And so let me present the formula at changes that I'm no longer using the bird to be in its negative form, but now I'm using it small. And I'm situations are the same thing. OK, before, before continuing going to the nouns, uh, is everything clear so far? Here, remember that we're talking uh, how to, as they say, uh, use evaluations with adjectives using ina, which is sufficient, and two, right? Uh, apartments aren't big enough. Also, like you said, you have to see the, the position, right? That when we use enough is after and big is before the adjective. And then you have two small, first we use two, and then we use a small. Okay, uh, is every, okay the, and the other one is that the, the meaning is basically, uh, let's say not a, probably not exactly the same thing, but very similar, right? It's the same idea, okay? That the, at the end, what we are saying is that the apartment is not big, okay? And it is a small. Okay, questions? No? No. Okay. No. It's here. Okay, let's continue then. Now let's uh, and this is if you see it's adjectives. Now we're going to go to the evaluations with nouns, okay? And always use them to and enough. The only thing is that I'm expressing them in different ways. The next thing that I would like to do now is to show you how to make evaluations. But now we're going to talk about making evaluations using nouns. And a couple of things will change. And so let me present the formula at this time. And I'm going to show you what kind of things will change. Well, first of all, um, similar to making evaluations with adjectives, we're going to have a subject. So in this case, we're going to say apartments. Okay, That's going to follow a verb. In this case, it's no longer the verb to be. So that's the first thing that changes. We're no longer using the verb to be. So in this case, we're using any other kind of verb. In this case, it happens to be that that's on a negative. So we, we're going to say don't have. That's uh, The verb is on its negative form. And then this follows enough. So opposite from adjectives, where we would include the adjective first, when we make evaluations using nouns, we no longer use the adjective first. We're going to include enough, and then we're going to include the noun. So let me give an example here. Don't have enough. And then uh, whatever um, noun that we want to include. So in this case, don't have enough parking spaces. OK? Uh, so the noun is parking spaces. And then you can think of a complement, if you will. So you can include something else there. So for example, uh, what could that be? Don't have enough parking spaces for people, right? That could be the complement. But in this case, the noun is parking spaces. And quickly, I want to talk about nouns. So what are nouns? What are some of the nouns that we can think about when we are um, you know, thinking about making evaluations of 
apartments and houses. Well, uh, we can think of things like parking spaces, as you can see there. We can think of things like closet space, right? We can think of things like privacy. And of course, we can think of things like money, if you will, right? So these kind of things are nouns that we can think of. So we can say the following. Apartments don't have enough parking spaces. Apartments don't have enough closet space. Apartments don't have enough privacy. And the last example that I would like to make is how to use to. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, well, this I'm going to take that example there. Houses, this follows the verse, so that continues to be the same. We are no longer going to include the word enough. So in this case, we're going to use too much money, right? Houses cost too much money. So if we can think of this, I'm going to follow the pattern there. Houses cost, that follows the verb. And then in this case, I want you to notice what happened. So we include too much money. The last thing that I would like for you to do now is to evaluate your house or apartment, depends on where you live, right? And I want you to evaluate your house or apartment using adjectives such as the ones that are here, and of course following the formula that I presented to you earlier today. And I also want you to evaluate your house or apartment using nouns. So uh, once again, using the formula that I'm presenting to you today, and then, of course, you're going to follow this formula. So I want you to make as many examples as you possibly can. The idea is to practice. OK, so that's the vocabulary we have, right? Now, this is you know how to use adjectives. Then I'm going to show you another this is a short video. Okay, it's uh, shorter than this one, and it's, and it's like cartoons, it's like for children, but I want you to pay attention to the, um, the to the vocabulary, right? That that we have in this one. Okay, it's like less than two minutes. Amen, Susan. Your house is so nice. Thank you, David. This is my living room. There is a big sofa, a TV set, a carpet, and a lamp. There aren't any tables or chairs. Okay, so then this is another one that you can use, okay? For example, you can see uh, there is my living room, okay? And this is my living room, and then there is a big or small sofa. Okay. Probably you can say that there are not, uh, there aren't enough uh, chairs, maybe. Okay, so here you can use, or oh, there are, uh, let's say, there is too much light in the room, or oh, there isn't too much light. Okay, so you can use, uh, to say, uh, the carpet is, is clean enough. Okay, it's very clean, it's too clean. Okay, this, this is the idea to use this vocabulary. This is my living room. You have got a very nice living room. I like it. David, this is my dining room. There are two chairs and a table. There is also a big plant. Okay, if you see, for example, there are only two chairs, right? You can say that there are too few, too few chairs, right? Because if she has more, more people invited, then there are only two chairs. So there are too few. Uh, the probably the table is not big enough. It's not large enough. Okay, and then well the base is where you put the flowers looks good. On the table there are dishes, knives, forks, glasses, a bottle and a vase. Great. I like your dining room. It is small, well arranged and warm. This is my bedroom. It's a quite small. But it's my favorite place. Wait, there wait. is a single. Who's speaking? Uh huh. Yeah, because uh, I had problem with my audio, um, my internet. It's the star lighting. Uh huh. 
Okay, just uh, wait uh, till uh, when the video finish, then we can we can talk. Okay, good. No bed. There isn't a wardrobe. There are books, a shelf, a desk, and a chair. This is my bedroom. My bedroom is the same. It's cool. Finally, this is my kitchen. There are many things. A gas cooker, an oven, a cupboard, and a sink. There isn't a fridge. This is my kitchen. It's crazy. We have... This is my kitchen. Okay, here you can also see that there is a lot of vocabulary, right? Like many things, a gas cooker. This is like the, the this is in British English, right? Uh, in American English, you would probably use a stove, okay, an oven, okay, cupboard, and a sink. There isn't a fridge, okay, or refrigerator. And then it here says, this is my kitchen. It's crazy. We have the same bedroom and now the same kitchen. The lesson is over. Thanks for watching and see you in the next lesson. All right. Okay, as you can see, we have a lot of vocabulary, right? Uh, to practice and describe a house or describe an apartment, okay? Using the, the furniture, okay? You know furniture? Uh -huh. Yes, okay. So then all the furniture that we can have in the house, probably you can say, okay, uh, in this moment, I think that in my house, I don't have enough chairs. Okay, that means that probably I have some chairs, but probably I need more, right? So I don't have enough chairs. Um, I need more, okay, more, more chairs. Good. Now, uh, let's start talking in general, not about your, your house in this moment, but housing in El Salvador. Okay? What do you think about houses in El Salvador? In general, right? So what is the, let's say the, I don't know, problem, the issues, the benefits, the convenient, uh, convenient things about houses in general? What do you think? For example, I can say that houses, houses in Salvador are very expensive. Okay, are, are very expensive. What for our countries? Uh, Carlos, can you mute your microphone, please? There is an inter interference noise. Okay. Yes, uh, Anna. There is a. There is a, a bow. No, there is a. There is a house expensive and cheaper. Okay, so the house there are there aren't there aren't enough. There aren't enough a uh, cheap house, right? There aren't enough cheap houses. Yes, okay. because houses are very expensive. Okay, that's one. What else? Uh, I think uh, it's probably when the house is more expensive, the neighborhood is dangerous. It's dangerous. Okay, good. Than the other house in the in the, no. in? In the neighborhood uh, rural 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 oh. neighborhood rural in the, in the neighborhood and I think the apartment apartments are very expensive I think I don't know for me it's a a lot of the the cost is a lot of money. Yes, actually it is. Okay. Um, only that. Okay, good. More opinions, people, about houses in general. Me. Okay, Anna. 
today build houses with two or three rooms and that's not enough for our family mm -hmm. because uh -huh. uh, also when the family is a big family uh, most of the house building uh, the building house sorry are uh, small than other uh, houses because um, the space or area for the construction is small. Is for this reason the most of the house now is very small okay, for a too, big too family. Small. Too, too small, small for, a big, for a big family. Okay, yes, that's one reason, right? That the, the land where they built so probably the, it's not sufficient, it's not enough, right? Yes. Okay, okay good. Uh, anybody else? Come on. Me, oh. Aide. Okay, Aide. The um, house of the Salvador, they are very small and there are enough um, bedroom and bathroom. There are, there are not, there are not enough. There are not enough bedrooms. There are no and no enough, bedroom. enough bedrooms and bath. Enough. And bedroom and bath. Mm -hmm. Yes. For example, a house usually needs maybe two, right? Minimum two. Minimum two bathrooms, right? But all the houses have only one, right? Most of the houses have only one. And bedrooms probably two, maximum three. Okay, so the bath, uh, like I just said, you know, uh, bedrooms and bathrooms are not enough. Okay, in the houses that they are building, right? This is when you buy a, a house made by a by a company, right? A constructor. It's not the same when you build your own house, right? But it's very expensive. Okay, any other opinion? Me, teacher. Okay, Lydia. Uh, I think house prices are similar to apartment prices in El Salvador. Mm -hmm. Because I was uh, finding a house, I, 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 I don't know, I found the uh, apartment that uh, cost uh, 80, $800 per, per, per month. Eight hundred. Similar, to, yes, per month, month. per month, uh, equal to uh, similar to a, a house, a price of a house, mm -hmm. of a house. Yes, I think it, it also depends depends on the area, right? Okay, the where the neighborhood is, because there are some neighborhoods that probably are uh, in a in an area that is very very expensive. Right? Yes. And then, and then that is a that is a problem. Yes, because you know eight hundred eight hundred dollars a month yes. for a house. Yes. Too much. With three bedrooms. Mm -hmm. It's small. Yes. The okay. prices is very high. It's too high. Too high. It's too high. Okay, now you can see for example that uh, we use very commonly very, very right, but then you can use now two or not enough, okay? So this is another uh, an extra vocabulary that we can use so that we don't use very all the time, right? It's too expensive, it's very expensive, okay? It's not uh, cheap enough, it's very expensive, it's too enough. It's different ways to, to say things. Okay, good. Hey, only the, only the ladies have participated, okay? Elena? Ladies first and then boys, okay? Okay, Elena. Okay. Um, I think as they as the same as Lydia, mm -hmm. the apartments are um, too expensive as a house here in Salvador. Mm -hmm. Yes. And probably here the apartments uh, has more space space than a house. Yes. Yes, that's true. You know, uh, how much is a house? How uh, 
how much is a house in a, let's say in a residential in Santa Tecla? Um, 90, 90. Mm -hmm. thousand, probably. Okay, from from ninety thousand to one hundred, I know more to two hundred, two hundred thousand maybe, right? Depending yeah, on the, yeah. Okay. Yeah, ah, uh -huh. depends on the location, right? Depends on the location. And what about the an apartment in you know Antigua Cuscatlan? Uh, probably if you want to rent a, a, a apartment in Antiguo you can find maybe 500 500 it's expensive it's a lot of money yeah with $500 you pay the, the a house every month right your own house yeah, yeah. yeah. okay what about the, the cost of an apartment there are some apartments in a, that probably costs three hundred thousand dollars, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. To multiplaza, probably. Uh -huh. oh. Yes, probably. You know, those yeah. multiplas are very expensive. Mm -hmm. Okay, but are they big? Are they big enough for the price? It depends on the location. Uh -huh. This was the, the ones the ones that Elena says near multiplaza. Are they? Are they big enough for the price? Because they are very expensive. I think, I think it's just good. for the area, not for the space. Not for the space, okay. Good. So they are not as big as the house, right? So it's just because of the I have because of the location. I have another. Yeah. I think it's, it's because the people who buy those apartments is maybe Art. a kind of a kind of person who has uh, I don't know how, how how do you say ingresso the incomes the incomes uh -huh. he, they the have income are, are are more than the, the standard people, huh? the standard people. or the average, the average yeah. people, yes. Yes, the people who, who pay or who buy these houses or apartments are, you know, let's say uh, are at, a, at a different level, okay? They are at a different level, economically speaking, right? So their, their incomes are higher, okay? They are not probably as low as the rest of the people. Okay, good. Uh, Marco, any opinions? Uh, well, uh, in this country, it's very, very expensive uh, to acquire a house. Uh, mm -hmm. In my case, I live in, in a medium house. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a uh, large windows. Uh, the windows have a uh, beautiful curtains right now. Um, in the living room in my house, there are a uh, large sofa. I have a uh, porcelain decorations and also it has three bathrooms and two, uh, I'm sorry, three bedrooms and two bathrooms oh, okay. and a small kitchen. Yeah. In my house, my favorite place is a uh, living room because I can feel uh, the air coming through the window. Right oh. now it's raining in, in Sonsonate. I live in Sonsonate and it's raining right now. Yes, uh, yeah. that's that's yeah. something that you can that you can enjoy, right? Yes, that's something that you can enjoy. Fresh air. Okay, yes, fresh air. That's that's nice. In Sonsonate, you said. Yeah. Okay. In Sonsonate is usually a hot area, right? It's yes, hot the weather always is very hot. Okay. All right. Good. Thank you. Okay, uh, Carlos. Carlos Ramos. What about you? Yeah. What do you think about houses in El Salvador? Uh, I live in Planet Renderos. Okay. And in this moment, uh, difficult access for <laughs> for the internet. 
for the internet. Yeah, because the internet. Yeah, I think you know Los Planes has the problem with the with the mountains, right? You know, they yeah. have a, they have they usually have a lot of problems, you know, in that area because of that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what about the houses in Los Planes? Are they expensive or cheap? Uh, it's more expensive because uh, many uh, higher high higher cost for regular house or renting. Or renting or or renting apartment to, mm -hmm. for the students or or any anything. Okay, good. Well, it's a it's a very nice location in all those planets, but yes, yeah. the houses are yeah, it's, and there are big big it's houses. Very right? expensive. Yes, and the, there are and the houses are are uh, bigger than the houses in San Salvador. Yeah. Okay. Okay, good. Uh, anybody else who wants to give me a, a, an opinion or share something, Ricardo? Want to share your opinion. Good evening. Um, well, um, I work in the sector construction. Oh, okay. And, and I can see the, the, cost, of, the cost of the, the houses and apartments mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in Santa Tecla. Uh, the apartment is is expensive. Mm -hmm. um, equal a house, you you can buy a apartment and you can buy a house, and the cost is is equal in some time. Mm -hmm. um, well, uh, um, I live in in, in Santa Tecla, but um, in I don't know how to say Colonia. Neighborhood, neighborhood, uh -huh. uh, and here the cat, the the house are are small. Mm -hmm. um, I live in the uh, in this house. Uh, the house has um, a living room, uh, three bedrooms, um, two bathrooms, um, has um. It has uh, one garage, okay, and uh, a little jar. Okay, and and the jar is has a, let's say a, a space enough, you know, to let's say to have a little meeting with friends. Yeah. Or is, or is it or is it too small? It's too small. Okay. Oh. All right. Good. Okay. Very nice. So then. Prices of, uh, between houses and apartments are very similar in that uh, location, right in that area. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for information. All right. Okay. Uh, Diego, you already said, but I don't know if you have anything else to say, Diego. Just, uh, well, for example, here in, in my neighborhood, mm -hmm. it's, uh, uh, well, for example, in my house, uh, we have two or three bathrooms. Okay. And, and, and uh, we have uh, two quartos. Rooms, rooms. Rooms. Oh, be the bedrooms, right? Two, uh -huh, two bedrooms. And well, the difference uh, is uh, with the playground. It's a little, uh, we, there, there aren't enough space. Okay. And just that. Okay, very good. Excellent. Nice, nice. Uh, Israel, I think that you are the last but not least. Hello, Israel. Hey, can, you, can you hear the thunders? Can you hear the thunders of the storm? No. Hello. Can you hear me? 